Hey guys, my name is Don and welcome to another episode of building a Jaguar from scratch. And guys, in today's video I plan on installing a steering wheel and a dashboard. But there's a couple of obstacles that I need to overcome, so let me flip the camera over and I'll show you exactly what my plan is. Okay guys, I'm going to try my best to explain very very briefly what I plan on doing in this video because there's a lot that needs to happen. When I initially got the car, it did come with this steering wheel, which is period correct and nice and pretty. And also came with these dials in this dash. Now guys, the dials look nice and pretty and they look period correct, but the dashboard's layout is incorrect. So, the th so as far as this is concerned, I need to make a new dashboard for these dials that's going to go and fit there into the car nice and pretty. As far as the steering wheel is concerned, I need to find a route for the steering wheel and I've already made a mark in there more or less where I want the steering shaft to go and then this steering wheel is going to go all the way down to where the rack and pinion is in the front. Now guys there's a couple of issues that I foresee one is that these issue carburetors are probably going to be in the way so I'm going to have to remove them and then find a way of installing that shaft and then reconnecting these without any interference from the carburetors or the shaft to the carburetors the second issue that i got guys or the way that i was going to make this steering shaft was by simply taking this round bar and then just welding on this universal joint that's got the correct splines to go onto the rack and pinion in the front and then i have this shaft go all the way from the front into the back where the steering wheel is now guys that would have worked perfectly just connecting the shaft to the rack and pinion being able to steer the steering wheel and the front wheels would then turn left and right. The only issue that I got with that guys if, is if this car ever had a front impact then all of the energy that, that from that impact would then be transferred into that solid shaft into the steering wheel and subsequently into the driver. And guys I think that is a very dangerous situation. So what I decided to do was to scrap the idea of using the solid shaft and I got a hold of this old steering column and guys these steering columns has got a telescopic insert in other words the front part and the rear part can telescopically move inwards and outwards of each other so if I was to install something like this in the car and it would have a front impact then the whole steering wheel would not come popping out so I think this is going to be a much safer call so what I want to do now is I just want to take this whole thing apart and see how I can use that shaft or that telescopic shaft in the bolt and then maybe weld something together and get this steering wheel connected to the car. Okay guys, so here is the plan. This is the inside of that steering column. As you can see, this is the telescopic part. This is the safety feature. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be using this universal joint that's going to go onto the rack and pinion. This is a solid shaft that I'll turn down on my lathe and then I'll just press fit it in there and weld it up properly. And then this part can go upwards towards the steering wheel and then this part over here has got the right splines for the steering wheel so i'll then just extend this piece the necessary length with the solid piece of rod that i'll also turn down on the lathe and just press fit everything onto each other and then properly weld it with a chamfer weld making sure that it is very very strong and perfect and as soon as i've got that oh and i'm also going to install this bearing that's going to go by the steering wheel just to keep everything nice and steady so I can make this up then and then we can see how I can install it into the car. Okay 
Okay guys, time for an update. I hope that I'll be able to explain to you guys what my plan is because there's a lot going on and a lot of things in the way. But like I said in the beginning, I was hoping to put a universal joint down there by the rack and pinion and then have a straight steering column go underneath these carburetors all the way to the steering wheel. And even though it would have been off center ever so slightly, I did notice that the original car's steering wheel was also not exactly straight on the car it was off center just a little bit but guys i was struggling so hard to try and find a route for the straight steering column and then after some reach research and looking at more pictures of original cars and trying to figure out how i would route the steering wheel or the steering column i realized that the original car did in fact have a universal joint down there and then another universal joint here by the pedal box that's why i took this cover off and then the steering column came up from this part over here down all the way to the back so guys that's how i'm going to be doing this and it's also going to make my life much much easier so i'm going to be putting a universal joint down there by the rack and pinion and then route the steering column all the way to where this pedal box is and then I'm going to put a universal joint down here and then go up through the firewall into the car. And guys, this is how I've planned this steering column out. That is the universal joint that's going to go by the rack and pinion. And then I'm just going to put the shaft in here. This is that telescopic shaft that's going to add some more safety to the car. And then here is a secondary universal joint that's going to go by the, fire, the the pedal box and then I can put this bearing by the pedal box just to stabilize everything and it will then go here through the firewall and I can put a secondary bearing by the steering wheel to make everything nice and secure and that is where the steering wheel is going to go so I'm going to machine this up make it nice and pretty and then I'm going to start and weld all the pieces together and then I can fit it to the car and let's see how it goes. guys check it out one by steering wheel installed in the car I'm so glad about this this is something that has kept my mind busy for a while it is now connected to the rack and pinion with two universal joints and a bearing down there and then another bearing here at the firewall and this steering wheel is nice and sturdy and I think that this carburetor won't come in the way of this steering shaft and also what I'm going to do at a later stage is just build a cover that's going to go over the shaft the same as the original car. 
but that's only going to be after I've done my work here on the paddle box guys the thing that kept me the most busy on this steering wheel was probably just figuring out the exact position that I wanted the steering wheel to be at because I don't want it to be in the way of my knees and I want my arms to have nice and proper movement but the it is a bit but this steering position is a bit cramped so I had to make it and adjust it exactly where I wanted it but what I've gone and done guys is I've just made bearing brackets movable so I've drilled some holes at the back of that firewall and I am able or I could theoretically move the steering wheel up and down just a little bit to do some final adjustments and also what I've gone and done is I've used I put these spaces here at the back so that I could theoretically take one out and then put the steering wheel in further down and then put that spacer in on that side and just tighten it and I can adjust my steering depth a little bit just to fine tune it perfectly for the driver but guys I'm glad that this is done now the next thing I can do is start working on the dashboard Okay guys, time for an update. I have now taken that old dashboard apart and then I started working on a layout for a new dashboard that's gonna fit in the car. And then I took a piece of aluminium and I started st shaping it in a shape that would become a dashboard that would fit in there. And guys, I don't wanna waste your time. I just wanted to show you, give you a glimpse of the reality of what happens in my workshop. And that is guys, that I am not getting right with this dashboard. It is not perfect. It is not neat enough and it's not right. And because it's such a visible piece, it needs to be absolutely perfect for me to use in this car. So guys, the reality is that I'm going to now scrap this dashboard completely and start over again. I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time. I'm going to take this piece of wood and I'm going to cut out a profile of what the dashboard has to look like. And I'm going to make sure that that profile fits in there perfectly with the gauges and everything and everything. And then I'm going to take a new piece of aluminium. And I'm going to use this profile to form the new piece of aluminium over so that I'd be sure that it's going to look absolutely perfect when I install it in the car. So like I said, not that I want to waste your time or anything, but this is the type of reality that happens in my workshop. Sometimes you need to do something over and over again until you get it right. So let's hope I'm going to get it right the second time around.
Nice! Guys, check it out! A dashboard for the Jaguar. It is looking so nice guys and the fitment is absolutely perfect. I've got good visibility on at least the speedometer or the rev counter depending on which way I'm going to put it around. But guys, I have now finished making this dashboard but I have not put these dials in permanently. I'm only going to be doing that when I start doing the wiring. But guys, making this wooden form really helped so much to get me to make this dashboard. I would not have been able to do it without making this wooden form. That is a lesson that I've now learned. Cutting those big holes in there and everything, keeping everything nice and sturdy and straight would not have been possible without that wooden form. But guys, I'm so happy with how this came out looking like. I did paint it with some hammered black paint, the same as what the original car was. But I do reckon that I'm going to still be painting it again. I just couldn't help myself because I need to now take it off a couple of times to do the wiring and so on. But this is looking beautiful. Oh, and also the car came with this dial. Um, but I, hap I just so happened to have a proper Smith's or rev counter that works with this car that I'm more than glad to donate for this project because it's just the way that it should be. But anyway guys, guys, I can now tick two things off of my list. That is the steering wheel and the dashboard. And the next time I can start working on stuff like the wiring or maybe the pedal box or whatever. But that's going to be it for this video. I am so glad that you guys watched and I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Cheers!